Once the trump card of the twin-engine narrowbody market, Boeing built 1,057 5.7s for its 54 customers, with Delta Air remaining the largest operator of this aircraft to date. The airline currently owns 105 757 200s and 16 300 variants. Recently, news about the incident of a plane operated by Delta Airlines has shaken the aviation industry. So, what was the incident? Will this affect this airline? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please help us improve this channel even further by double checking that you've hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our updates. Now let's dive in. The aircraft manufacturer has raised concerns over the safety of its aircraft time and time again. The most recent was a tire blowout on a Delta 757. The horrific incident claimed the lives of two people and seriously injured a third at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport on the morning of August 27, 2024. According to a statement from Delta Airlines regarding the incident, the Boeing 757 crash was caused by a tire exploding while being removed in a Delta Airlines maintenance area. The two people who were left unseen in the incident were a Delta employee and a contractor. The other seriously injured person was also an airline employee, but there was no word on his condition. The identities of the victims have not been released and further details about the tire blowout have not been released pending an investigation. The accident occurred at 5 a.m. at the headquarters of Delta Tech Ops, the maintenance arm of Delta Airlines, at Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport, according to media reports. In a statement, Delta Airlines expressed its sadness at the loss of two team members and the injury of another, saying it would offer its full support to their families and colleagues during this extremely difficult time. The company is cooperating with local authorities and conducting a full investigation to determine exactly what happened. The Boeing 757 arrived in Atlanta from Las Vegas on Sunday night, August 25th. On Sunday, the plane completed four flights between Tampa, Atlanta, and Las Vegas. The Federal Aviation Administration also said it was in contact with Delta about the accident. This is not the first incident involving this airliner. Earlier this year, a Delta Boeing 757 lost its front wheel as it was preparing to take off on an international flight. The incident occurred at noon on January 20th at Atlanta International Airport, Georgia, as the plane was preparing to depart for Bogota, Colombia. The plane was taxiing to the takeoff point when the pilot of another plane nearby spotted it and reported it to air traffic control. After falling off, the plane's wheel rolled across the runway before landing in a nearby ditch. Maintenance crews were dispatched to find the wheel and assess the situation. Fortunately, none of the 184 passengers or six crew members on board were injured in the incident. On the same day as the Delta Boeing 757 crash that killed two people, an Alaska Airlines flight from Seattle to Oakland, California had to turn back due to engine trouble, according to reports. Alaska Airlines Flight 1240, operated on a Boeing 737-700, turned back just over an hour later. A statement from Alaska Airlines said the cause of the incident was the failure of the plane's left engine. Clearly, the incident at Delta Airlines maintenance facility could have some significant implications for the airline, especially in terms of public relations. It would attract negative media attention, potentially damaging Delta's reputation. Passengers could question the airline's safety standards, leading to a loss of trust. Then there are the legal and financial consequences. The Federal Aviation Administration and other regulatory agencies would investigate the incident, potentially resulting in fines or other penalties. In addition, the families of the victims could file lawsuits against Delta, Boeing, or other parties involved, resulting in significant legal costs and a possible financial settlement. Regulators would have to impose increased scrutiny on Delta's maintenance procedures, potentially resulting in delays or cancellations. The airline may need to conduct an internal safety review and implement new procedures to prevent similar accidents in the future, which could result in some disruption to the airline's flight schedule. The incident will also have a significant impact on Delta employees' morale, especially those in maintenance or similar jobs. Feeling unsafe or uncertain about their job security is entirely possible. Overall, while the exact long-term consequences of the incident are still unknown, it is clear that Delta Airlines will face significant challenges in the coming months as it deals with the public relations, legal, operational, and employee morale issues that have arisen from the tire blowout. 7-5 the 7th of May not be the best-selling narrow-body aircraft in Boeing history, but it continues to serve in commercial and cargo operations to this day.
It has been more than four decades since the Boeing 757 first flew. Production of the aircraft ended in 2004, with a total of 1,050 built. Most of those were 757-200, with the 757-300 being the stretch version, fewer in number. There are still around 500 of the aircraft still flying in the skies today, with 47 different airlines. Many pilots refer to the airplane as the sports car of the sky. The aircraft comes with a choice of two engines, the Rolls-Royce RB211 and the Pratt & Whitney PW2037. The Rolls-Royce engines provide 17 tons, 166 kilonewton, of thrust per engine at full load, a considerable amount of power given the 757's slim design. The Pratt & Whitney PW2037 engines are even more powerful, with 17.3 tons, 170 kilonewton, of thrust per engine. Both engine options allow the 757 to take off on short runways of 1,660 to 2,070 meters, making it possible for airlines to operate from small airports in remote areas. When Boeing introduced this, it introduced a high-tech cockpit similar to the 767, allowing the aircraft to fly farther with just two crew members. The Boeing 757 was the first aircraft to incorporate a super modern wing design with a flatter top and a rounded bottom, which reduced drag, saved fuel, improved cooling, and reduced manufacturing costs. NASA has validated wind tunnel data showing that the super modern wing increases flight efficiency by up to 15%. In addition to the Boeing 757, Boeing also uses the super modern wing design on the Boeing 767, 777, and C-17 military transport aircraft. Many passengers find the aircraft much more comfortable than the current popular aircraft such as the Boeing 737 or Airbus A320. Boeing claims that the aircraft can carry 200 to 295 passengers, depending on the variant. Delta's 757-200 can carry 199 passengers in a standard three-class configuration, while the airline's Boeing 737-900ER can carry a total of 180 passengers. It was one of the first aircraft designed specifically for the short to medium haul market. The 757-200 variant can fly 7,220 km and the larger 300 can reach a maximum range of 6,287 km. It was one of the first aircraft to be certified under the extended range standard for twin engine aircraft. It is a suitable choice for transatlantic flights. As for the relationship with Delta, Boeing has been the airline's primary aircraft supplier for many years. Delta has a long history of operating Boeing aircraft, including iconic models such as the 747 and 767. Delta has made significant investments in Airbus aircraft in recent years, such as the A320neo and A350. This shift has been driven by factors such as fleet simplification, fuel efficiency, and long-term strategic planning. However, despite this, the airline still maintains a significant Boeing fleet and has placed orders for future Boeing models such as the 737 MAX. But the situation is now more difficult, with Delta expecting the delivery of the 737 MAX 10 to be delayed until 2027. We were already anticipating if it came in 2025, it'd be late in the year, Bastian told Bloomberg in an interview. My guess is it will be another year or two beyond that. Delta currently doesn't fly any of the MAX variants. The MAX 10 serves as Boeing's response to Airbus's highly successful A321neo and constitutes more than a fifth of the outstanding MAX orders. Bastian said, Delta is comfortable with the protections it has negotiated against potential delays in its MAX 10 purchase, but declined to provide further details. He added that there are some issues with the 737 MAX that need to be resolved, and that the airline is in discussions with Boeing. In July 2022, the airline announced it would buy 100 Boeing 737, MAX 10 worth about $13.5 billion at list prices, with options to buy 30 more, with deliveries initially scheduled to begin in 2025. In conclusion, Delta Airlines faces considerable challenges following the tragic incident involving the 757 at its maintenance facility. The loss of two lives and the serious injury of another employee has raised concerns about the airline's safety protocols and could potentially damage its reputation. This incident, coupled with prior safety events involving the 757, underscores the importance of maintaining rigorous safety standards and procedures. As Delta navigates these challenges, it will need to address potential impacts on employee morale and passenger trust, 
while continuing its long-term strategic planning, including its ongoing relationship with Boeing. The coming months will be critical for Delta as it seeks to rebuild confidence and ensure the safety and reliability of its operations.